Our game of the week features a team that gave the top-ranked Cleveland Storm their toughest game of the season. Our Lawrence Gilligan here to explain after the shocking almost shocker. Yeah, that's right, Ben. You know, my Rio Rancho Rams almost shocked the world, at least the New Mexico world, that is, beating the number one ranked Cleveland Storm. So let's see what they did in the first round against Alamogordo. The Rams and Tigers facing off under the lights in Rio Rancho. New Mexico playoff history was made tonight when a new laser system was used to measure first down. I know we've seen that before, but this is the first time in the playoffs that they've actually used that. Rams ball, second quarter up 14 to 6 already. Jesse, Jason Fitzpatrick takes the snap and calls his own number. Rams are in business. Next play, the ball comes loose, and after clearing the pile, Alamogoro comes up with the pigskin. That leads to this play, Alamogoro's. Tyler Schumann takes the snap, fakes the dive with the pitch to Michael Luna, who takes it upfield for a nice 15-yard scamper. Not too bad. Next play, Luna's number is going to get called again, running hard up the middle. He gets the ball to the one, and yeah, almost there, but on the next play, it's Luna. He would finish off the drive and score easily. The two-point conversion would fail, and how about the Rams' turn? Jason Fitzpatrick dumps it to Edward Schwensing, who takes the ball into Tiger territory. Fitzpatrick worked a lot of tonight out of the shotgun. Here's another play out of the gun with the fake. He keeps it and drops the shoulder. Check that out. That's what you like to see out of your quarterback. Next possession, Fitzpatrick looking, rolling, seeing some daylight. He's taking it. And well, there you go, into the blue area for the score. You got to love that blue turf. Rams are rolling right now, and on the next Tiger possession, Alamogordo tries to get something going. Schumar takes a three-step drop and finds Anthony Jones for a short gain. On the next play, the give is to John Matsky, who takes it up the alley, but the drive would stall. And yeah, how about those Rams on their next possession? Fitzpatrick looking left and coming back to his right, firing deep for Tristan Foley, but the Tiger, Jason Westfall, with the tip. Foley is there with the great fingertip catch on that play. Rams would go on to beat Alamogordo 56 to 34. Steve, you're plugging away. We got to clean some things up on defense right now, but overall, I think we're playing pretty well, and we got to make sure we handle uh, those speedy receivers on the outside, and they got a lot of skill guys we got to handle. Well, there you have it. Fifth seed Rio Rancho advances to play the fourth seed, the Las Cruces Bulldogs. Maybe they can take care of them to set up a rematch with the Cleveland Storm. But hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Storm also have to win. Van, back to you. Hey, Lawrence, maybe you can put on that Letterman's jacket and go play some quarterback for Rio Rancho. But then again, they want to keep winning, right? It doesn't look like they need it. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, man, my bad, huh?